this video brought to you in Screamavision. Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. And I and Marshall. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about uh, something that we are participating in for the month of August which is called Summerween. It was created by Gabby Reads and Olivia Reads a Latte here on YouTube or if you're watching us on IGTV go over to YouTube there over there. Um, they have created uh, five prompts of like kind of creepy scary books of, that you can read during the month of August to get us ready for fall because <sighs> aren't we ready for fall? <laughs> Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm done with summer and I haven't even left my house, thank God. So I'm not that hot, but we're ready for the those, holidays. Those moments where the AC broke. Scream. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. But I count myself lucky because living here in Florida, it could have been a lot worse and I would have to go outside. So we're going to talk about the uh, five prompts and we're actually going to be reading the same books for all five prompts. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. The very first prompt is a book with a creepy cover. Now Marshall and I both kind of uh, submitted books and what was really funny is that this first book is one that uh, I had been wanting to read for a while and hadn't had a chance to. Then Marshall suggested it and I was like, oh, oh yes, yes, I want this one. I, just, I was just like, okay, books with creepy cover. This one. Scream. Yes, so it is The Return by Rachel Harrison. So the book The Return is about Elise and uh, she had a friend named Julie who went missing and has returned. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like a very scary story but apparently she has no memory of where she went and there's a whole lot of other things going on in the background as to what actually happened to her that they all have to figure out. Um, I just, I look at this cover and it, it makes me think of The Ring, how they had that, that ah. the, the chair spinning on one end and, you know, she never actually watched The I Ring. I couldn't. She, I couldn't get past the DVD menu. I was so scared of that movie. <laughs> in the meantime, I, I watched the rest of it after she ran off. I was like, okay, I'm sitting here by myself watching this thing. <laughs> Okay. It's true. Okay. It's true. All right. Book number two is one that is paranormal or supernatural in nature. And this book we kind of got to from a couple different ways. The first way is that when I was watching the video that Gabby did, she did mention this book. And the second way is because the author, we, Marshall has now read two books by him and I have read one and I'm reading the next one also. Um, and that is Grady Hendrix. We are reading My Best Friend's Exorcism. And I, I thought this was really funny because of the cover. Yeah. It seemed like such like an 80s choose your own adventure kind of cover. And I thought, well, this is this will be great for a paranormal super, mm -hmm. supernatural book. Yeah. And so basically this all happens at a summer camp as these, these people are kind of getting together. And um, one of them starts to develop signs of being possessed by demons. Uh, specifically Satan is what, what the cover says that they're being possessed by Satan. So how do you help somebody like that? And this kind of lampoons the whole 1980s, 1990s, the satanic panic, mm. uh, which very nearly ruined several franchises. Yeah. So... Uh, I think this could be a really fun read. Yeah, I think so too. The third book is a book about a haunted house and I chose Kill Creek. That is by Scott Thomas. This one is about a bunch of horror authors who are all called to the most haunted house ever and the house don't like it. Not at all. Um, so I, I'm figuring this is going to give me feelings of Rose Red yeah. and I liked that uh -huh. a lot. So we're going to, we're going to see, I think, I think I might enjoy Kill Creek too. So the fourth prompt, I'm sorry, is a book to read in the dark. So basically any of these books yeah. we'll probably read in the dark. So we didn't really pick one for it. We decided just to go for four. So prompt number five is a book recommended by the host. And I was so lucky that this book was recommended because it's one that has been making its way around uh, the booktube community for a little bit. Uh, everyone is saying it is the creepiest book they've ever read. It's got like skin crawling things, elements to it. I, I don't even know. <laughs> and I was like, I need to read this book. So we're talking about The Troop by Nick Cutter. Scream. Ah, woo, 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 woo. Uh, the troop 
it is about basically a bunch of scouts, boy scouts, they're going out into the woods, and then they meet a zombie. Or at least it seems like a zombie from what the description says. Um, and things go horribly, horribly wrong from there. I think that's kind of the thing with horror, that everything goes, it goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. wrong. That's why they call it horror. Horror. <laughs> <Horrible. laughs> Uh, that is the five prompts for Summerween. So it, this starts, uh, I believe, August 24th. Uh, we'll put all the prompts down below as, as well as the dates and the link to uh, Gabby and Olivia's videos where they talk about this so that you can get their recommendations and what they're reading as well. Um, but this is just, it's, I think it's just such a fun thing. I am starting to really like doing these kind of prompts because it gives us the opportunity to really, you know, figure out books that we might not have on the TBR list that we would want to read. Yeah, yeah, I could read whatever she throws at me but this gives us an opportunity to just try something completely different mm -hmm. i really did enjoy doing the one of the prompts that we had from we be booking group mm -hmm. a couple months ago that was really fun mm -hmm. yeah. so thank you so much for watching and until next time stay zany bye, -bye.